Greetings, gardeners. Today, I would like to talk about trapping insects and making your own traps. Here in Hawaii, we have some terrible problems with a series of different fruit flies. There's a whole bunch. The oriental fruit flies, we got the med flies, um, I've got pickle worms, I got melon flies, I got just all kind of fruit flies. And the, what they do is the, the flies will come up and the females will use their ovipositor to sting the stem or the fruit of a pepper or a tomato or the top of a citrus or guavas and so on. And they'll lay eggs in there. Well, the eggs, the eggs then develop into uh, larvae, little maggots that will crawl through. And in many cases, like with peppers, for instance, you see here, this guy, he, he got stung by fruit flies. And so the maggots get inside the fruit, and well, they destroy it when it's only a tiny little thing. And uh, here's a case here where what they do is this pepper got nailed in the stem. And so they go up in the stem and they lay the eggs. And so then the stem dies and the pepper falls off. Sometimes I'll lose as much as half of the fruit on my pepper plants around here because of these. Right there is a good example of what the heck the little things will do to a bell peppers. That's over half of the peppers that were hanging on my plant. All falling off because of them. Right here is a trap that I built using a one and a quarter liter uh, soda bottle. Uh, I guess that would probably be the only reason that you might want to purchase this product, Coca-Cola. <laughs> the bottles make great fly traps, trust me. Um, and so what we've done here is we just cut the bottle off just above the label, took the top, turned it around, inserted it inside the bottle, put a hanger on here, and then I've got a little basket in there that has a methyl eugenol lure that's drawing the flies. That stuff will also draw hornets, it'll draw um, mosquitoes, it'll draw a whole lot of other things. Right now, because it's sitting out here in the middle of my pepper patch, um, it's drawing that oriental fruit fly that's in there. At least I think that's who that is. Well, here I've got another one hanging right over the top of some of my pepper plants. Uh, it's getting loaded up pretty good with flies too. So building one of these traps is pretty simple. We start off with a soda bottle. And we cut it right here above the label, removing the top. Then cut a hole right there in the bottom, and I run a wire or some other piece of material through. Uh, Heavy-duty twist ties work too. I've used them before, but something rigid enough that you can use as a hanger. Next thing we need is something to hold your bait. So in this case, I'm using a uh, little basket that's used for uh, orchids in trees, is what this is, and fertilizer ordinarily goes inside that little basket. But it works really great for holding the uh, uh, methyl eugenol plug loops. You uh, could use oh, a piece of nylon stocking, all kinds of different things might work. Uh, there's no real limit to this. Okay. So. What you use uh, as a bait inside your trap is really going to depend on what creature you're going after. If you're just trying to trap garbage flies, for instance, um, you know, a little bit of spoiled chicken liver or something like that works out fine for them. Um, there's a variety of different possible things, again, depending on what it is that you're trying to get. Um, and when it comes to the fruit flies we have here in Hawaii, definitely either methyl eugenol or there's another uh, lure called Q lure that works on a few of the flies, too. I find that methyl eugenol is one of the widest variety attractants. Um, it's not that hard to get your hands on. Uh, you can buy it off Amazon. Uh, they have it there uh, with the bug burners, with the zappers, because your zapper won't work on mosquitoes unless you have methyl eugenol inserted in it. And so it's sold with the bug zappers. Uh, you'll also find it if you just type methyl eugenol in bottles, pure, from Amazon. You can buy it that way, then soak it into cotton balls or something and put it inside your trap. However you go about it, in my case, I'm using a product here uh, from, uh, it's actually made in Billings, Montana. Uh, Sentry Botanicals is the manufacturer on this. I did not buy it directly from the manufacturer. Um, I got it through the master gardeners here on the island. Uh, they buy large amounts of it and will redistribute it. So you might check uh, 
you know, with them. Anyway, it comes here as these little goofy rubber plugs like that, and they're impregnated with the methyl eugenol. Now these plugs fit perfectly inside these little orchid fertilizer baskets. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, it's like it was made for it. The lid snaps back on there. Just snap the lid on, ready to rock and roll. Then I just take this and I will stick the wire through the little basket like that. Usually try to hook it a bit and get it to come back up through the top. That'll hold on to it. There we go. Just like baiting a fishing hook. Okay, so the little basket hangs on there like that. Then I just pull the lure up inside here. Pull it all the way up like that. And I insert the bottom. Just like that. Make sure it fits well. So well, here I am next to my Valencia orange. It has a fairly good crop in it this year. Uh, the Mineola tangelo next to it over there also has a pretty good crop coming. And so I don't want fruit flies stinging my citrus. Okay. So uh, as the, they're green before they start to get any color here and smell nice, I've got my methyl eugenol lure inside here. And I'm going to take it and just hang it in my Valencia tree in some secure location. There I've got the, uh, the uh, trap is hooked to a pretty good branch right at a fork so it doesn't slide off over there. Um, and it uh, should be fairly secure in that location. It also allows me to see what's going on as I walk by the tree. I can tell how many flies I'm gathering. Uh, the amount of flies that I have been gathering around citrus and peppers um, is uh, frightening. <laughs> it's huge, but I already knew I had a problem because uh, this, this happened to me last year. I still had to figure out what was coming down here. Fruit fly is a nasty little issue over here in Hawaii. We don't like them at all. Uh, and so whatever it takes to get rid of them, and trapping is the best. Now I'm pretty sure that the methyl eugenol, though, like most lures, only works on the males. I'm not positive about that, but I think that's the story. Um, although other types of uh, insects and other types of lures may work on uh, both types of insects. If you have coddling moth problems, for instance, uh, there is a pheromone for the uh, coddling moth that's available, and you can use it in a trap like this. Works out fine. The principle is that most of the bugs aren't quite smart enough once they go in the gate there uh, to figure out how to get back out. Now in the case that you are having problems with them getting out, you can apply a certain amount of something like spinosad, for instance, in the trap uh, that will kill the flies off once they get inside. In my case, they are just simply dying of starvation in there because they can't get back out to find anything good to eat, breed, or lay eggs on. So it's a little bit about trapping insects. Uh, again, I'm never going to suggest that anybody drink Coca-Cola so they can make insect traps. You probably know somebody else who does drink the stuff. You can ask them to save the bottles. Uh, you could dumpster dive. Uh, whatever you use, I mean, I, if I was going to tell you to drink anything, I'd highly recommend beer, but it generally comes either in aluminum cans, glass bottles, or kegs, you know, or growlers, and so uh, that's probably uh, not going to be an alternative solution here. So, that was an interesting sound. So, if you can find uh, um, the uh, one and a quarter liter plastic bottles. The bigger liter, bigger bottles also work. Any kind of a transparent plastic bottle where you can cut the top off and it fits back inside will make these traps easily. You can make dozens and dozens and dozens of them. Uh, and like I say, use this stuff for flies. Uh, if you want to put like a piece of spoiled fish or meat or something in there, that'll draw a fly. Um, you can use uh, all sorts of different baits for different types of insects. I'm not going to go into that subject at the moment because it really depends on what you're trying to trap although I did mention methyl eugenol because it is a very wide variety type of material I've noticed that the uh, um, yellow jackets the, the, the wasps actually go after that stuff although they're smarter than the flies and they seem to manage to figure out how to get out of that trap I'd need a special doorway in there for the yellow jackets but the eugenol draws them too all righty well 
happy gardening. I know for a lot of you over in the mainland and the northern tier of Europe and so on that we're starting to head into the cold season. I saw Chicago's got a high of 49 today. So uh, vicariously enjoy the garden on my behalf here in Hawaii. Um, aloha, hang loose, happy gardening, and we'll catch you later.